Welcome back, Odooers. Surveys are a fantastic way to gather useful information and data from a litany of different sources, but oftentimes, surveys can be too straightforward, bland, and just boring. But with conditional display questions here in Odoo, you can create tailor-made hyper-specific questionnaires, resulting in a high level of invaluable information from all of your participants. Not only that, but with the customized conditional display questions, you can make the entire survey process so much more enjoyable and personalized. But why am I still talking about it when I can just show you? Let's jump into our database so we can take a nice deep dive into the world of conditional displays using Odoo Surveys. As usual, we're going to kick things off on our Surveys dashboard. From here, we'll quickly open the Stealthy Wood customer presentation that I've been working on recently. Now, for those who haven't watched our other tutorial on questions and sections, be sure to check that out for even more in-depth info on how to create surveys from scratch. We'll even leave a link to that in the description below. But for those who have familiarized yourself with how to create a survey with Odoo, I'm pretty sure this page looks familiar. As you can see, we only have one question prepared for our audience. So let's click into this question before we start adding other ones. All right, so this question is asking my participants what they like most about Stealthy Wood. It's a multiple choice, multiple answers allowed question type, because maybe they like more than one thing about us, which would be awfully nice of them. And down here, we see the potential answers. We have desks, oops, chairs, drawers, and nothing. Just in case there are some Stealthy Wood haters in the audience, there's a couple in every crowd. Since no scoring is enabled in the options tab of the survey, there are no fields to indicate whether an answer is correct, nor is there any place to provide points for certain responses, mainly because I'm interested in the opinions of my participants and not the right or wrong answers. Well, except for nothing. That's just dead wrong and mean, but hey, I digress. All right, excluding the haters, the answers we're gonna create conditional display questions are for are the chairs, desks, and drawers. So let's get started on that by clicking out of this question pop-up by adding add a question. Remember, with conditional display questions, you can tailor some super specific follow-up questions so participants really drill down into the specifics of their response, which will help me learn more about my loyal, lovely customers. But let's assume participants responded to that first question by saying they enjoy chairs the most. In that case, I want the next question here served as a follow-up related to that topic because they just expressed that they're mostly interested in chairs. So no problem, let's create this question here. What do you like most about our chairs? We'll select the multiple choice, multiple answers allowed, and then click add a line for our answer options. Here, let's go ahead and add comfort, style, and let's say price. Nice. Now, since this question is related directly to our chair response from the first question, we'll need to make sure this is conditionally displayed so it only shows up if the participant selects that specific answer. For that, let's hop into the options tab here, and we're gonna check out the triggering answer section for this conditional display. And for this section, we're gonna go ahead and put shares. Boom. With that in place, this question only appears if the participant selects chairs as the response to the first question. So let's go ahead and save and close this. It's very important to know that conditional answers like this, meaning questions that only show up if a specific answer to a previous question is selected, work best if placed directly after that triggered question. That way, participants won't get super specific questions later on in the survey. So be sure to keep that in mind. But what if they choose another option like desks or drawers and they wanna talk about both or one of them? No worries, check this out. So the basic layout of those conditional questions will be similar to the one we just made. We'll go ahead and use this handy dandy duplicate button right next to this icon and just make another question. Then we're gonna open it and change it from chairs to desks. And then let's go ahead and modify the choices in the answer tab. We're gonna go ahead and delete these and we'll hit add a line put design, storage, and materials. And then we can go ahead and click away. And then next we'll open up the 
options tab and instead of that previous one stating shares we're going to change this to desk then we can go ahead and save now let's take the same duplicate route for our drawers lovers out there we'll click the duplicate icon once again and then change this to drawers and just like what we saw in the first option let's go ahead and change this here to drawers and since the answer options would be the same for our drawers, we can leave those alone and open the options tab like we saw and then click save. Great. Now, what about the conditional display based on another conditional display? And what if that could appear if more than one answer is given to the previous question? Sounds complicated, but I can assure you it's not. Check this out. So since we just created a couple questions that had the answer option of material, let's say I was curious on which material my participants prefer, so let's create a conditional display question for that. We're going to go ahead and add a question again and make another question asking them what materials do they like most? And then we're going to change this to multiple answers allowed. Then let's type in the questions answers and we'll add wood, steel, and plastic. And then from here, we're going to go back to the options tab here again. We're going to go to the triggering act, triggering answer section and put more. So from this point, we want to go ahead and add all the two responses that should trigger the question. In this case, we want the answer options for materials. So let's check both of those. And then we'll go ahead and select. Now, as you can see, you can have multiple responses in the triggering answers field like we do here. Perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and hit save and new because there's one more question I do want to add to the survey. This last question won't be dependent on anything and will purely serve to round out this mini survey that we're building out and to help showcase how conditional display questions work. So let's go ahead and ask, would you recommend stealthy wood to friends and family? Then we'll go ahead and change this and keep it actually at only one answer hop over to the answers tab, keep it simple and just put yes or no. And since this answer isn't contingent on any previous responses, let's just save and close it. Awesome. Looks like the survey is really coming together. You'll notice our conditional display questions are represented by this tiny branch icon to the right of the question type column, making it super easy to see what type of questions populate on your survey. All right, so let's test out this conditional display in action. From here, we're gonna go ahead and hit test and start our survey in the next tab. In our survey tab, we're gonna go ahead and select start survey to start our survey. We're then greeted by our first question. Now, if we click any of the answers we've configured conditional display questions for, they should show up immediately after. So if we go ahead and click chairs and then continue, the next question is the conditional one we made to learn more about our participants' love for our chairs. Perfect. All right, let's check another one. But first, let's click the back arrow button here on the bottom right, because we do have roaming enabled, allowing us to freely navigate back to the previous question in the survey. Then we can go ahead and deselect chairs and now select desks and then hit continue. And looks like we're greeted with a specific conditional question about desks and not chairs. Pretty awesome. All right, might as well check the third option the same way, right? So let's click back on the roaming button in here, deselect chairs, and this time we're gonna select drawers and click continue. Voila, we're met with our drawer specific conditional question. And now what if we select materials as our answer here? Remember what happened if we do, we should be able to go ahead and see our material related conditional question pop up. So let's check that out. Awesome, just like we planned it. All right, now let's hit the roaming back button a couple times and return to our first question here. Now, if we deselect roaming and select nothing instead, Odoo should go ahead and bypass all the conditional questions between this and the next standalone question in the survey, which would be about our recommending stealthy wood. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And wouldn't you know it? It's our next non-conditional question in the survey. Gosh, how easy was that? And that's it, Odoers. That's how you can quickly create conditional questions to get even more detailed feedback from your participants. 
and deliver a more personalized survey experience for everybody involved. Stay tuned for more specific survey-related lessons coming your way, O-Doers, and see you soon.